For well over a year, police forces across England were on the hunt for a team of daring jewel thieves. The robbers would prove to be one of the most elusive gangs they had ever faced. Professional gang, quite ruthless. This team needed to be locked up and stopped. But doing that would require intricate detective work, cutting edge scientific techniques, and a big helping hand from Crime Watch viewers. The gang made a fateful decision to go back to Winchester and attempt to rob the Jeremy France jewelers, their very first target, for a second time. But this time, Jeremy France was ready for them. Three men came in all together. There was a staff member, there were two members of the public. The gun went straight onto them. I personally was up in the office and I hit the buttons. The smart water was activated, ready for when they ran across it. As they run through it, the spray came down in huge doses, so they were completely and utterly soaked. The liquid itself has a forensic fingerprint or, or DNA style uh, identifier that allows us to put the criminal back at the scene of the crime, at the time of the crime. Effectively, it's like an ink but you can't see it until you go into ultraviolet light. And it glows bright yellow. It's very difficult for them to remove, and we only need the slightest speck to actually tie them back to a particular instant. The police can take swabs, send it to our lab, and we'll decode it and tell the police where that solution came from, where that particular spray system was installed. And in this instance, that would mean linking it back to the Jeremy France instance in Winchester. The net was tightening, and a game of cat and mouse that had been ongoing for over 14 months was drawing to a close. Oh, police officer, show me your hands! Step forward! Make no sudden moves and you'll come to no harm, do you understand? As Waller was being taken into custody, raids were taking place simultaneously at the homes of Luke Nash and Elliot Burton. The houses of all three were searched for anything which might link them to the robberies and inside an airing cupboard, another breakthrough. Two handguns. Were these the weapons used in the robberies? I was confident that if one of those firearms had been used at Jeremy France Jewelers, it would be carrying the smart water. We analysed the two guns at the smart water laboratories, and we found that one of them was covered in smart water. We could prove and provide evidence to the police that actually that smart water could only have come from Jeremy France in Winchester. Nash was sentenced to seven years for the first Winchester job and Waller got nine years for conspiracy to rob. Both men pleaded guilty. Unlike Elliot Burton, he skipped bail and went on the run. Burton can't run forever. And when police do finally catch up with him, you'll have a 12-year stretch behind bars to look forward to.